it has been a week full of new music. I don't even know what to listen to, but I will tell you that my ears have not gotten tired of Nicki Minaj. I told y'all, and I've been telling y'all from the beginning, she's the queen and she stands alone. Oh my gosh, from Nicki to Migos to J. Cole. Who are you guys listening to this week? It's just Team Nicki for me. I'm not Nicki out. I'm I'm Nicki in at this point. It's a lot of other artists that came out that I'm like pretty excited for. Kodak dropped some stuff. You know, I love Kodak. He's a hometown hero. Yeah. I haven't, I tried to listen to J. Cole, but I haven't got past 95 South. I went right back to Nicki. And the sad thing about it is that most of the Nicki songs I've heard a thousand times. It just feels good that to hear it and feel it again. And it's just a simple reminder that she's that girl. You know, I had some real heart to heart to you lately, like just about the fact that it's like, it's just your world. Nobody does this shit better than you. And it's like, when you're gone, you know, obviously Papa Bear's here now. So we are, you know, we, we understand the priorities, but you know, when you're gone, I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm sure I speak for everybody in the live when it's like, yo, we really miss you. Like, we really miss your presence. And just like, we miss the bars. We miss the excitement that you bring. So it's like, you know, I just like, I've been on you lately to just, you know, you know what time it is. And you know, I'm coming over um, this weekend too. So yeah, I'm blood so we're gonna get to work. Yeah, two blood clot life. No, I'm really this there. Man, this man been saying he was coming to my house for the last two weeks, y'all. So no, now y'all got to make sure he come over here. And it's very funny to me because if Beyonce would have dropped the album, Matt Thee Stallion would have been all over Twitter about how the queen this and how the queen that and Beyonce this. And no. the same thing for all these other girls. Now, Nikki dropped this, this work, this work, because that's what it is. It was some work. And none of them are giving this girl her flowers. Like Nikki Matt literally told nothing. us she was dropping the album three days prior to her dropping it. So yeah, nobody really did say anything. Meg is on a hiatus. If Beyonce dropped the day, Megan wouldn't say anything because she's on a hiatus. She will come back because Beyonce... But you just want to start drama put, per I'm usual. not starting drama at all. I'm just keeping it per real. I think I'm just keeping it real. And these conversations swirl, swirl within the industry. So I'm almost certain when <laughs> Megan heard that Nikki was working on this project and was getting ready to drop it this week, she was like... Well, it'd be good if I take this week off and take this week off and don't come back to this day or this day. Like, they say none of these girls as they're just not giving Nikki what's due to her. That's why Rihanna came on the forefront and it's like, I'm going to follow my girl. I'm going to wear the same shoes as her. We just going to you know, set the president and let them know that we are these, that we these girls. Like, stop playing with Rihanna and stop playing with Nicki Minaj. I don't know how many times I got to tell y'all this. Stop playing with them. Like, just stop playing. I love Nicki Minaj as well, but Nicki is known to be very mean. Like, she sides. is mean. A lot of people say it all the time. Nicki is not nice. You're picking sides. I don't, don't pick sides. It is There's what no it is. no side to pick. I didn't even use Nikki another Nicki is the queen. Term. Is Nicki the queen of rap? We all she, queen. Tell, I'm it, a queen. Is Nicki the queen of rap if she ain't who is? I don't know. <laughs>